Hey there, welcome to Table Tennis Philosophy. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a particular short pips rubber. Um, it's uh, got a great cover. <laughs> but uh, not, not necessarily the greatest short pips rubber. So let me uh, give you a little, little background. Uh, it's, the rubber is called Gepard, as best as I can tell in German, or for leopard. And it's, I got it in 1.3, put it on a uh, Falk carbon racket. And here's a couple things I learned, not just about this rubber, but maybe about playing short pips. All right, um, Gepard's probably a perfectly acceptable short pips rubber, but there's, if you're gonna use short pips, there's a couple things you're probably gonna need to uh, make it in the modern game. Um, short pips probably either need to be really, really fast, and in this case, the 1.3, um, it's not slow, but it's not, it's not fast either and or it's going to have to have some element of deception that's why i keep meandering between long pips medium pips short pips and probably uh my next venture will be uh back to a, a different medium pips rubber which i'll probably uh probably have a review for that in about a week but um one thing um here's what i can tell you about it okay <laughs> i got it in blue and uh, that's, that's nice enough. And you probably attract a little bit of attention with your blue rubber if you decide to go that way. But here's what I noticed about it. Um, I expected it to have a little bit harder feel to it. It uh, had a little bit the sponge kind of a little, a little bit on the mushy side. And that's not usually a good feel. Um, it seemed to be okay for lifting the ball and if you got just the right angle uh, for hitting. Well, it, you know, I haven't played with it for a long time, but usually I get a pretty good feel for this stuff uh, after, a, after a day or two of using it and um, used it in about, played about seven or eight matches with it today and just really find that what you really are looking for in short pips is you want to have a, a lot of control and I think once I kind of got the hang of this rubber realizing you almost needed to lift um, you know do a whole lot more rolling of the ball than I would have anticipated uh, hitting flat was not not as good as I would have hoped um, so it's got it's got decent control what it doesn't have is any element of deception and it doesn't have uh, the kind of speed that will really uh, intimidate your opponents. So with that, you get just sort of generic short pips rubber. Um, eh, it's okay for, uh, you know, to twiddle a little bit. It does certainly play a bit differently than the uh, hurricane that I had on the other side. But if you're getting the, if you've watched this far, you probably got the idea that when I'm talking about Gepard, it's kind of, mm, it's not the worst thing I've ever used. And, um, but nothing that makes me want to recommend it to anybody. I think there's probably other short pips rubber out there that's better. In fact, I know there, there is stuff that's, that's better. Like I said, it's got a little bit of that mushy feel to it. And, uh, Mm, nothing, nothing particularly special about it. So, uh, bigger lesson: if you're going for short pips, and you're hoping to have some really strong, fast shots, um, 1.3 Gepard is not the way to go. Now, do I think it would be better in the thicker, um, thicker sponge? Not necessarily. Um, not not sure that would be all that much better. Might be a little bit better, would give you some speed. It still wouldn't give you any of the kind of sinking deception that you get with medium pips and certainly not anywhere close to the deception you get with long pips. So if you're just looking for a average 
short pips rubber and you like a soft feel and uh, you want one that doesn't cost much, Gepard could be the one for you. But uh, my, my review is not, not terribly impressed. So, hope you uh, got something out of this. Uh, you, you, if you were about to uh, go out and buy a sheet of Gepard with the uh, blue top sheet, um, may, may have given you a little pause for that. But uh, anyway, that's, that's one man's opinion. See you next time. Thanks.